Hi folks, Mark Fuqua here with you, MND Enterprises and Lawnmower Shops. I just wanted to go over one of these legacy garages we have. We sell for two companies, Legacy Carports and Texwin. And I wanna go over a few of the basics about any carport or garage. I'm pointing up higher on the roof so that you can hopefully tell that is what we call a vertical roof panel. It, the, the wall runs horizontally down the structure and the roof runs vertically. I will go inside here and give you a quick uh, idea about why that is and why that's important on your structure. Um, looks great either way, looks fine. But what happens is all of these are, are typically made with five feet in between the trusses, the roof trusses and the legs. So the 10 is 30 some inches and will not stand vertically between there. So what you have to do is come in and what you'll see are these extra pieces of metal in between the trusses up top that ribbing is what gives us a place to screw the metal down when you want to go with a vertical. So you can do just a vertical roof or you can do a vertical roof and vertical walls. A lot of people ask why it's so expensive to put an end on a carport because it's about the same to put uh, an end on one and enclose it as it is to do both sides. And the reason is on a typical carport, envision this is not an enclosed garage, there's nothing there to screw the metal to. So what you have happen is they have to come in and build this framework so that we have something to screw the, the tin to, the exterior metal, and give us a place to go with that. Basic sizes start at 12 feet wide. That is typically what most companies start with. Again, we sell for two different companies and everyone I've looked at, they, they start at 12 wide, they then jump to 18 wide, and then they go up in two feet increments, 20, 22, 24 wide, up to 30. Beyond 30, we can do long, larger than 30 wide, but you get into a different type of structure than what we're seeing here. We just have the basic roll up doors on here. And so we've covered the uh, width where we can start you know, 12 wide, 18 wide, and then jump into 20, 22 wide, whatever. Then we go with starting typically at a 21 feet long structure, whether that's a carport or garage or whatever. And then we go in five feet increments up to 60 feet. There are five feet between each of the trusses and the roof braces, as I said before. So there's three different styles. There's what you call your regular carport style that has kind of a rounded look. And then there is uh, your A-frame style. And then there is your A-frame uh, style with vertical metal, which does cost more because once again, they have to come in and uh, put this extra material in to have something to screw the metal to. So this particular one also has the insulation package uh, where they put the roll-in insulation on half of it so people could see what that looks like. So just wanted to give you a brief update. Again, Mark Fuquay, owner of MD Enterprises. We sell thousands upon thousands of dollars worth of carports, garages, barns, and structures every year. And come in and let our uh, knowledgeable team give you a hassle-free quote if you're interested, and we'd be happy to do that. Thanks so much. Have a great day.